don't know, but I love what you sell. So, but how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. You know, it's um, it's an interesting time right now, but we're making the best of spending a lot of time at home. And uh, there's a lot to do at home. I stay busy all day. That's so funny. Like when you say that, do you mean like chores too? Um, well, I've been working so much that I'm a little behind on a lot of my chores. <laughs> but um, I, you know take a lot of time uh, cooking for the boys and we go hiking on the weekend. So I take time too, but I've been on the phone pretty much, you know, nine to six Monday through Friday wow. with a few breaks in between. Yeah. So I want to talk about that, but tell can you, so boys, so tell me boys, who's the boys? Um, so I have twin boys and they're fraternal. So you can definitely tell them apart. One has glasses. He's a little shorter. One's a little taller and thinner. Um, they're seven minutes apart, and they're fourteen-year-old boys in eighth grade. Oh yeah. my gosh! Oh yeah, I want to. I want to. I want to see if we get Alana to like say hello to them, and then we can watch their reaction because she'll get all like nutty. What what is what are girls like with them? Like what what does that look like as a mom of two twin fourteen-year-olds? I can't even imagine. Um, we haven't gotten into like quite the dating scene or anything like that. One of them had a first dance last year at the seventh grade dance. And um, this year, the eighth grade dance looks like it's canceled. <clears throat> so we'll see what happens. So that's kind of sad because they, you know, it was their turn to have the seventh graders decorate for them and clean mm -hmm. up and surprise them. And last year they did it for the eighth graders. But because of all the social distancing, there's no graduation, there's no dance. Um, their track season got ended suddenly after two meets. So that's that's been a little rough. But, you know, we're making the best of it and always believe in making a lemonade out of lemons. So we're just doing everything we can to have fun on the weekends and go hiking. And today we're going to go over to my parents' house and hang out a little bit because we figure oh. we've been equally quarantined and we just got to get out and do something and see them. That is so beautiful. You know, it's funny. So like I, they, they live in this time and I see Alana, you know, I, I have her Instagram on my account, so I get to see what she does right away. But, and you know, I can see they, they say, oh, like the virus, but I don't know if they really understand like history and the making and what, what this would be like. I mean, years from now that they'll be, well, remember this, like the great depression, right. Or the, the, right. the I just, it's so, and yet my heart goes out to them because of what you said, all the little things that, but your boys have like each other. So they, so, okay. So if, a, if we take a big pie, a hundred percent, they're together. What amount of that do they fight? Where, what does fighting look like between the boys? I'm sorry. I just have to, I'm curious. Um, probably at this point, I would say about 15%. It's pretty low. They've really <laughs> wow. grown out of it, but it usually looks like one of them gets the Nerf gun, usually Bronson, and starts pelting Brad in the head <laughs> while Brad's trying to do something on his iPad. And then Brad says, stop. And that means go to Bronson. So Bronson hits him some more. And then Brad gets up and chases him around the room. Um, but so is, the instigator, is the instigator always an instigator? Um, yeah, pretty much. It's usually Bronson. Not always though. There's been times that, that Brad has started like really bugging on Bronson and then Bronson's like, cut it out. So it can it go like, either way. I'm jealous. I, I always thought that you could put twins together and just sit down and watch them. Like you watch like puppies and cats and stuff, how they get along. <laughs> they must have like yeah. be their own show, the B and B show. That's awesome. <laughs> It is a huge blessing that we have more than one child because I've talked to people with only children, especially like around this age, and it's tough. They just want to hang out with another person their age. And, um, you know, the boys are disappointed and they want to see people, but it's more about I want to go to the skate park, you know, because they do have each other and it makes a huge difference. That's Why? so he says, I want to go to Colin's house. That's his you best friend. want to friend. see you. Can, we, can I call my daughter out? Can they just like say hi? Because I know that she'll be all goofy. Would they mind? Um, No. Bronson, can you come in here for a Alana. minute? Alana. I love the names. I love the name. I love Alana. That's such a pretty name. Oh, she called. She said she wants to change it. Alana. Yeah. Here, come sit. Sit for a minute. Alana. 
You need to come here for a minute, hurry. <gasps> oh my God, you're so this handsome. Is, this is the instigator. <laughs> oh, you're the instigator. That's okay. That's not a bad thing to be. Come here, meet me. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come over here. It's okay. I'm going to bring the Alana. Alana, do you want to come to you? Alana, do you want to gift? I'll give you over here. I want you to be my friend. I want you to be my friend's children. They're 14. Come here. Come over here, honey. Do I have to drag you in a minute? Oh, come see the dog. Come see the dog. Is that, oh, my God. Alana, can you come here for a second? Just come over here and just say hello. Then I'll bring it. You stay right there. So this is a So just say hi. So this is Bronson. This is Alana. Alana. <laughs> say hi, say hi, hi. You go. You both have fourteen. Bronson, what school do you go to? Uh, Saint Cyril's. We're, we're uh, moving to Catalina Foothills this year. Oh, very. Oh, Lana went to Orange Grove Middle School. Oh yeah. You what grade is Alana in? in? Eighth grade. Oh, they're in the exact same grade. That's right. Yeah. See, Alana. That's what I'm saying. You never know. What if we were to go move back to Tucson and you actually get to meet? Bronson. And you'd be like, wait a second, Bronson. I think I remember seeing you when my mom was doing these really dumb, like, live things. It's cute, huh? Oh, I guess I knew she would get all, like, she gets all shy and goofy. Bronson, it's so nice to meet you. You're lucky to be a twin. I'm a little jealous. Brad gone. Go, go get your Nerf gun and, and shoot Bron Brad a couple times so we can hear you guys fight it. in the background. You broke it. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome that's awesome do you are do you do tiktok instagram are you on all these uh horrible social media? Snapchat. what was that instagram and snapchat yeah stay off tiktok no yeah, stay off tiktok really, yeah. Goes, really they're all just so. not dancing but for girls that's how that's how cringy it is exactly exactly yeah, oh you're so cute I'm, I'm sorry about missing your eighth grade dance and the seventh graders been doing all the work i really don't care i don't care myself i get to stay home i get a six month summer break six months <laughs> i didn't think of I, it that way wait so now are you getting up early are you doing are you following your school schedule because alana is get up at 10. our school tells us to get up at 10. no so. you have to check in by 10. yeah so i get up by like, Ten, uh, like nine fifty-eight. So I wait, think we're good. He gets wait, up a little earlier than nine fifty-eight. No, are they asking you, Alana, to get to get? Listen, you guys, that's interesting. So Alana school is said, saying any time, as long as you get the work done. I kind of think what your school is doing makes sense. They're saying you need to be online on the computer at ten a.m. Yep. Well, actually, that's we what they're have saying. To check in. We don't actually have to do the work. You check you in. Have to do the work. But we don't have to do the work right then. So we just check in and then we can go play video games or something. Okay. It's, it's, so kind of like when you work from home and you check in, you turn on your computer, you check in, and then you go and you watch. Brad, like, you want to come say hi? Yes. <laughs> exactly. Yes. <laughs> so, so Bronson is a twin, but a fraternal twin, not identical. So I'm so excited to see what his brother looks like. And then is your dad's name begin with a yeah, B? Brad. Brad. Is, is what? Is his dad's is name what? Does your husband's name begin with a B? No, it's Chad. It's oh. Chad. My dad's my dad's Robert, though, and goes oh. by Bob. And both our last names are Bs. Oh, really? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Wait, so you didn't have to See change you can send Brad in. I know he's going to say Brad, no, but try. Try to get in there, all right? Brad's not going to come in. I, know I love it. You have the same, so you had the same B, so you were TB growing up? Yeah, I was Tracy Beaudry. I didn't change my name um, because, you know, my family used to own car stores and an RV store, and I thought I was going to work in that forever. And it was kind of nice to have the name recognition. Yeah. Um, but my husband's last name is Brock Schmidt. Oh, wait, how do you spell that? That's a tough one, huh? Oh, gosh, with way too many consonants. So mine has too many vowels. <laughs> His has too many consonants. Uh, B-R-O-C-K-S-C-H-M-I-D-T. Whoa, yeah, people probably mess that up all the time. That's smart. Yeah. I, I I go by the by maiden name too, which makes which makes sense. But yeah, that's funny. I love that. So and now I want to hear like about your day actually. So because I know we have to be careful of what we say, but I love your products. <laughs> I use them all the time because I can. And oh, can you get me this, um, Alana? Get me the Salu Guard. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. I gotta get it. I'm gonna show my favorites. I gotta show my favorites. All right, 
Then they have ass daddy. I don't care about me. So I don't love you. I love my Sally Garden. Then I actually love this one. Do I? Um, does this? I want to ask you. Does this coloring look this? Okay, so I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't really mix it correctly. I kind of mix it to eye. Like I cook. I don't follow recipes. I don't even follow mixing. Does that look this? Does that look like it should be okay for the salumel, or do I need to make yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. You're just supposed to. Uh, it's supposed to be kind of a milky white. That's there good. are some jobs that call for the concentrate, like when I spilt my blackberry smoothie on the cream part of my mixed color rug. I took the concentrate and put a little bit. Um, when my son got silly putty in his hair, concentrate. When I got mm -hmm. ink on my professional pictures, the concentrate took it right off without damaging. But normally for just like spraying the rug um, to keep it fresh or using it to clean the bathroom, you, you use it when it's milky white and mixed with water, wait, it'll turn milky. What would I, so that's, wait, wait, wait. So first of all, by the way, the pre-spot, is a killer too. I use that for Alana's sneakers and they got them all white. And then um, she had a, she bought some sweatshirts on sale and you know what? The, it was like bike week and the guy's like, the stain will, um, the stains will come out. And I'm like, I think it's okay. I have this pre-spot and it really worked. It's like, now I just spray, but why would I use this in the bathroom? I'm confused. What would be my purpose for bathroom? Um, it's just a really good it has like 101 uses. So if you want me to send you the email, I yes. mean, I, I can't even remember all the uses, but um, it just works great on everything. So, you know, it, cleaning the, the toilet or the sink or whatever, you can do that. We have bathroom products, but that's kind of like one of those miracle products that you won't believe all the things you can use it for. One of my favorite things is it will actually get rid of... Um, you know, dust mites and all of that. And just to keep the mattress fresh, you can spray down your mattress. You can yeah. spray down an air conditioning filter. Um, there's even like things in there about soaking your feet in it if you have gout. Really? Because it's got, yeah. Oh my God. That's so, oh my God. I'm kind of, I, and I love it. I mean, when pickles peas, that's the first thing we do. We, we blot it and then we spray it. And because uh, it does remove the smell too. Oh, I want to send that to me. That's interesting. I actually, so I love the product so much of the toothpaste, but I don't tend to, and there's some groups on Facebook like that I joined to just kind of like hear what people say, but I'm not, I'm not good about like really like investigating each one. Cause there's so many, cause I bought the whole packet, the whole like kit that you get for with everything, including the, just a tub and tile. I mean, it's got so many products to it, but I do notice the ditch detergent. I got to go back and order some more really last. So like when you compare it to like this size and then to something else, you just need like a couple of drops and it's like, it's just, you have enough soap for like an army. So that's uh right. It's, it really is great stuff. Yeah. It is. Yeah. They, it's cause they concentrate it. So we believe in helping the environment and not putting water in fillers. So everything's just really concentrated. Yeah. You know what my favorite favorite is? Well, my fa Cause I have so many favorites. I love the spray, the orange one where you spray the aerosol to give your room a clear smell. And then like, if I hit my husband in the face, he's like, Ew. I'm like, no, 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 it's all good. It's all natural. It's just orange citrus and like, like some water. So you're okay. Let me spray. <laughs> I just spray that. I love that stuff too. Do you, now, do you love to iron clothes? Wait, what? Get wrinkles out. Do you love to really, iron? I don't, no, know iron I don't even know what iron means. I, I think <laughs> you're wrong. I, you spray your clothes. First of all, you don't buy clothes that need to be ironed. Obviously, that everyone knows that. And then second, you buy spray. You buy spray. You spray your clothes. Let them like hang up because wrinkle free. They wrinkles come out. And that's what. Yeah. No, my, my kids. My kids get mad at me because they come over. They're like, where's an iron? I'm like, I don't even know what you're talking about. No, I was born um, unable. I'm allergic to irons. I'm not Me too. To iron. <laughs> I hate iron. So oh, the revive will freshen the air in the room, but you can also freshen the smell in your clothes and you can spray your clothes and the wrinkles will fall out. So oh, that's, that's that. a fun one. Oh my God. Yeah. We can really do a whole show. Everyone's like, what do they, what do they have? Well, we're not allowed to tell you, <laughs> but just message Tracy and I, because uh, so Tracy's in Tucson. So we actually, we haven't met. I want to hear about your pet sitting business, because I actually think that is something that a lot of people would love to do and, but not sure how to start and, and just keep, and what is it like walking into people's homes and having to like, I, I just need to know everything, please. So I only do at my house mostly. So I, I say that I have a couple of neighbors that I let their dogs out during the day or take their dogs for a walk a couple of times a week during the day on their long day. But 99% of what I do, people bring their dogs to my house. Wow. 
Yeah. So and they feel comfortable. We did that when we first got pickles. I, we used the service, whatever it was, the Rover or whatever. And um, it is really, really hard to, it's like a child, right? You get, you're like trusting you with a dog and making sure, but that's awesome. That's a great, like, Ability. So people, what do they look for in your home to make sure like that you don't have, like, I don't even like, what would they, and how do you make sure that these dogs are house trained and won't pee in your house? I kind of have a knack with dogs. I, I grew up and my dad had um, five German shepherds and he trained them all. Oh, look at your little doggy. Um, <laughs> what kind is yours? Um, a poodle mix from Tucson. To actually the, actually we, we met a young lady who in our neighborhood who was um, Angela, who was a dog walker, and she approached us and we started talking to her. She approached my husband. We started talking with her. We had a relationship with her. And last November, she flew pickles to us. Wow. And it wasn't easy. And she was so brave, so brave to put, and I kept saying to her, if something happens to pickles, I don't want you to feel guilty. Like I, I was so worried that something would happen with pickles, but not, I mean, we don't want to lose pickles, but I don't want to like have her because that's really like a big deal. Her parents helped her. Um, and, and, and so once we get, so now it's funny cause we're like pickles, you know, he had to get used to everything because he grew up, he was born in Tucson for 10 years and now he's coming here. So it was, it was different for him, but he's blind. He's sometimes he's like a pinball. <laughs> sometimes he really is. He'll come in the house. I'll beg here, here. He's like a little pinball. And, uh, but he's doing great. Oh, Alana, stop being so annoyed. I want to hear more. So, so how do you know, are you just sitting for dogs that you know, or are you through any kind of app? No, I don't. I don't do any kind of app. I tried one once and they started telling me they were going to mail me keys and a check. And could I get the food stuff for the apartment? And I just knew it was a scam. And I, I just decided to keep it really organic. So people just kind of, you know, come to me because someone told them mostly. And I, the first dog I ever watched, I watched for free. I um, was telling my friend Debbie that I wanted to be a foster parent for dogs. Um, but, you know, on Saturdays, my kid had sports and I couldn't go sit at PetSmart and it just wasn't working out. She said, well, foster my dog. So mm -hmm. I started fostering little Bob, which meant whenever Debbie needed help, little, um, Bob. little Bob was at my house. <laughs> so we took little Bob to Mount Lemon and we drove to school in the morning with little Bob in the car. And uh, little Bob, I thought was a very unique dog name, but you know, it's the name of the dog in um, Harry and the Hendersons. Oh, oh, it so. is. yeah. But anyway, that's how it started. And people started saying, oh, I didn't know you had another dog. And we'd be like, oh, no, this, you know, we're watching Little Bob. Oh, can you watch my dog? And after watching two or three dogs for free, I thought, you know, I think I'm going to charge for this. <laughs> and so I just started charging and letting neighbors know and, you know, put my car at a couple of places that we frequent. And it's just kind of grown from there. Sometimes at Christmas, we have seven or eight dogs and we uh, bark jingle bells. <laughs> oh, my God. I love that. Oh, you should do some videos of that. That's so fun. <laughs> it's nice to have someone like you that you could trust to watch your dog and to make sure that they're safe and call and say, because they really are like our, our children. They really, really are. I yeah, really, we we definitely are. It's weird with Pickles because he's old. So like, we'll call him a baby, but then I'm like, he's really not. I like, I should honor that he's a senior, but I don't want to be calling him old bad. And Alana will pick him up. He's got like a love hate relationship with Alana. Like he'll like be like, All right, but he can't bite. And he's, he's so cute. He is cute. He needs to be groomed. I don't know what to do with him. He's really, really needs to be groomed. And I can't cut anything. There's no way I could ever cut his fingernails. Do you cut your, what are you doing now with your dog? Oh, yeah, she needs her, her nails trimmed, and I'm always scared to do that. I do cut her hair um, because she hates the groomer, and um, so I just cut it, and it's it's probably not the best job, but maybe I'll find a groomer she likes. I don't know. Wait, what kind of uh, – what kind of um, – oh, what is that, Alana? Oh, God, poor Pickles. He really is a mess. What? Um, we have to get scissors, honey. What kind of shears do you use? I'm um, just hair cutting shears like for people because, you know, she if you look at her, she's um, one of those hypoallergenic kind of shaggy dogs. Yeah. She sort of looks like Toto meets Schnauzer. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> she's, she's got the girl highlights. We used to call her an old puppy because <laughs> she was a puppy and had gray hair already. Aww. But um, 
you know, they've got more like people hair. So I just, I just give her a trim, especially when it starts getting in her eyes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cause I just did I think that. I've only taken her to the groomer once and she was like, you're leaving me. <laughs> Nichols get so hyper. They're like, you need to put, give your dog CBD, but he's got it under here. So I got to really start. Yeah. I'll cut him. I'm sure it'll look funny. I did get the eyes. I got brave enough to do that. It's so scary. Cause I'm like, I feel like I don't want to, but I never even cut my, my, my husband's always had to do fingernails and stuff because I'm, cause I can't even do my own. I bleed for myself. So I just get so nervous doing it that I'm not good at doing it. And then I don't have the confidence. So since I don't have the confidence, it just uh, messes me all up. So yeah. <laughs> and then now if I say a lot, I'll cut your nails. She's like, yeah, no way. No way. Oh man. And so now you, so you have that and then you're, and so you're on the phone um, doing business, right? With the, with the product that we cannot say, but, but that I love. Right. Yeah. I just, uh, you know, what I do is I set up accounts for a U.S. manufacturer and just tell people, you know, shop online, which is great right now during social distancing. Um, you can imagine during this time of social distancing that 100 percent of my dog sitting clients have canceled. So, you know, I I'm not dog sitting right now at all. I'm not picking up my kids from sports or taking them to a party or a friend's house. Um, I'm I'm just home all day. And while my kids are working, I've just been on the phone. Um, a lot of people, even in different states, they, they can't find something at the store. And no, I can't help with toilet paper. But, you know, <laughs> acetaminophen I can help with. Um, I can help with allergy medicine, hand sanitizer. Um, you know, there's lots of things that the company I represent has. And, you know, I can also help people work from home and create an extra income during this time that keeps coming if you are furloughed or if something happens and your whole business just goes away in one day, like my dog sitting business did. You know, I just started getting the phone calls. <laughs> We're not going on our trip to Italy. We're really sad. Our trip to Japan is canceled. You know, all these plans that people have made that they were really looking forward to um, aren't happening. So they're home with their little their little uh, doggies <laughs> and they don't need to come visit. That's so true. You know, it's funny because when I think of the products, I just like, yeah, I really do. I trust. I love the, um, the ibuprofen and then the uh, the the other one, like the kind of like the acetamine or Tylenol, but whatever. I've been getting that too. Cause I really, I really enjoy that product too. It's now those are those products like, uh, like Coke or Kleenex where you don't really even call them ibuprofen. Mm -hmm. You call them Advil and Tylenol. So. <laughs> right. Right. And, but yeah. you know what, I know when I get that, you know what else I bought? I, I'm glad I invested. I got the first aid kit and really love that. So it's, it's put away, but I know that if I need anything, everything is in there. I thought that was really like kind of smart of me. I, I really, you know, I know, I know you, and we're not trying, this is no sales pitch here. It's just honestly, my talking with Tracy, cause I actually really use these products. And once in a while I'll, I'll mention it to someone, but the, uh, the SoluGuard is coming in handy because I make my husband spray everything. And uh, the other day he said he was teasing me and he put out his hands to spray. And I did because I'm like, I know that was going to hurt him and it was going to be fine. So I'm like, sure. OK, <laughs> I'll spray. Yeah, it. Yeah. I'm not worried it's, about it. It's pretty amazing because you think about it and this coronavirus, what it does is it attacks the respiratory system. And we want to kill germs, but we want to take care of our respiratory system. And if you look at the lung study, if you look that up, it was a 20-year study with over 6,000 people that if you're breathing chemicals like bleach and, you know, um, phosphates and all these different chemicals that they use to kill germs, it's really bad for your respiratory system. So the SoluGuard um, actually kills 99.9% .9 of germs, but it it doesn't hurt your respiratory system. I love so it. there, you know, a botanical disinfectant is the right way to go if you if you can find a good one that's that's priced well. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know what? Honestly, knock on wood, we we have not been sick and I mean I use it all the time and it's and it's a weird ritual too. I don't know. Do you do that before you go to bed? You walk around and you spray everything and then I and then I go to sleep. I, I don't it's like, yeah. Is that weird? Do you do that? No, no. It's a good idea to have clean air when you sleep. So that's a great idea. 
I just like to clean all the surfaces because I figure it could sit there. It's not going to hurt. And it, it just kind of, yeah, because it has that nice smell to it. But yeah, I do tend to. And when Pickles makes an accident, because now he does some dupers sometimes in the house and we clean it up. And it's nice to be able to spray that and not have to worry that, you know, he's going to get sick with it or anything like that. I think that's really, because I, I really believe that Pickles started to, um, started to not do well with the mulch that they put here. And, and maybe even the pesticides that they spray for the fleas. Cause we have, we have fleas like crazy. And it was weird because when I got pickles, he did have heartworm and they were really surprised at that because heart, fleas are not really that much in Tucson, right? I don't recall having fleas in Tucson or that it's really an issue. Yeah, yeah I haven't seen many fleas here. I, I thought heartworm came from mosquitoes can you get it from fleas too i can't well, maybe remember you're right maybe you're right with the mosquitoes yeah you maybe you're right maybe you're right but the fleas um, and unfortunately we do have mosquitoes in tucson i think heartworm is probably way more common where you are well what is it like where you are with with everything going on and are you guys more homebound or more out of things in the store than we are or what do you think it's like tucson versus um where are you in florida again well, I, so I live in a town called Daytona Beach, which uh, is, we have the bike week. Daytona Beach is known for their spring break and we drive yeah. on the beach. So it's, a, it's, a, it's the community itself. The people are a lot like Tucson, a very down to earth, uh, real, real people working. I really do find that that is absolutely, and that's what kind of draws me to Daytona Beach. It's it's country. You know, there's a lot of people think Florida. I think they think Orlando, and though we're just an hour east of Orlando, we live about four or five miles from the ocean. We live three miles from the racetrack from NASCAR. So actually, we can hear when NASCAR is going on. And it's fun because I belong to the chamber. We have meetings in the NASCAR building, which is so cool. And we have A1A is great because you could drive all the way up and down the beach. I could drive to St. Augustine with a, with a beach to the right of me, which I love. But right now, you know, I think there's a mixture of people. Some people actually are, you know, they, they are going to work and then they're coming home and they're eating with their family. And they're not watching the news and they don't necessarily really get what's going on. But I'm scared. I'm 57 and I do have high blood pressure and I have kidney stones and I just don't want to be sick for my family and I don't want to get Alana sick and my husband his he, he doesn't smoke you know we don't smoke but his um I remember when his father had lost his lungs and one of his uncles came over to me and he said the Angel family like their family their lungs are like the like that is what you take care of and so I and I remember that I was like wow that's really weird but some people you know, they, they always get stomach gastric issues or they have sore throats or whatever it is. And he was trying to warn me that the, the lungs and that I should always make sure Rudy stop smoking that, that my children do not do anything to, to affect their lungs. So it makes me nervous. So, but when we do go out, so we went out on Saturday to a new Publix, we have latitudes here, which is a Margaritaville community for 55 and up someplace I can never live because I'm a 14 year old. But anyway, so we have latitudes and then they bu built a new grocery store called Publix and it's really lovely and it was slow, but there was um, no toilet paper. No, no, there was, I was able to get one roll. So I got four of them. So we had stocked up. My friend David told me to stock up like a month ago and not that I stocked up so many, but I had enough for like 30 days. I count my toilet paper. And then, cause my husband, depending on the brand it may last one day or three days. So right now we have left 12 that will probably last 14 to 15 days. So good. And then I got the four, but I feel bad for some people that didn't have a chance to even get a little extra. And if they have a big family like you, then all of a sudden four could go in a day. <laughs> right. <laughs> Next thing you know, every other day you got to go. No Lysol, no cleaning supplies at all. No, nothing. Um, napkins are, napkins are very expensive, almost $3 for like a little pack. But I I got this, my, my, my family, my mom and dad passed away and my sister cleaning the house got me brown, really lovely um, napkins, you know, cloth napkins for the table. And I love them because you can, they're soft and they've been used so much and they look great, but you just throw them in the wash so that I don't need to have paper napkins. So that really, I've got like 12 of them and that for the three of us, that works great. And I, people are still working. So when you go, I mean, you know, traffic's a little less and we do have finally a shutdown in our state. 
they have opened the beach because that really is tough. First of all, you have people that live on the beach and, you know, for them not to be able to walk the beach, but no, no sunbathing on the beach. So you go to the beach to walk, exercise, go in the water. And so I'm waiting to get the water warm enough because I have to go to the bathroom a lot with my kidneys. So I don't mind going in the ocean. I admit it. I'm an ocean goer, but I'm not going into any, like the, all the public restrooms are closed. So you got to be careful with that. And so I've gone yeah. out four or five times and Tracy, I am the world's worst cook. Like I should go on the show world's worst chef. And so I'm dying for Chinese food. And so I'm thinking that maybe I'll trust like a Chinese food restaurant to just go in and, and, you know, pick it up. And I would like some rice because I have some, um, some stuff and I'm not a really good. Oh, what is that? So anyway, so I, so we're okay. We're staying in, my husband does work. So he goes out and I, he meet him at the door and he does everything that you're supposed to do at the door to come in. And I've worked from the house, so I'm okay. I do sell, um, I do have the ability to get the mask, not for healthcare workers, but the regular mask that you and I would need to wear. And I do believe, and I only could sell them for, um, in minimum quantity. So I have to sell them to businesses, not individuals, but I do believe that a lot of companies, should really start looking at buying masks because when we start getting back to business, we're going to be, I mean, they're still wearing masks in China. So did you, I, I interviewed Anna Anderson. She was telling me in China, they have like monitors on the door during the Wuhan. They actually would track everyone. And then today they were talking about that. They're starting to let people that go, but they're all, everyone's tracked. So if you are able to go to work, they're still tracking you to make sure crazy. Wow. I know. Wow, I know. Crazy. But we're tracked too, because if there was a man that a really lovely biker who was here for bike week and they were actually able to use Google, he checked into all the places where he was. So his friends and family were able to at least let everyone know not only that he passed, which was a very sad loss, but that these were the places that he's been. So that if you were there, you can kind of, you know, think about self quarantining yourself. Right. Right. Are you yeah. going? What, what are you doing? Do you uh, for food? Are you all set? Or do you have enough food, or do you go out? Um, I made. I tried to do like a really big trip last Monday, and so my goal was to not go this week. And I made it, but my husband didn't make it. Of course, the week's not over, and I'm like tempted to go in Trader Joe's and get my kids a couple of things for Easter. I like. I love Trader Joe's. And I love like their candies are a little bit more natural. So I feel a little bit better, but I'm really tempted to go in and see what they have for Easter. Um, I may do that today. I may, I may just risk it and okay. go in Trader Joe's for a minute. I don't know. Grab a mask, grab a mask and the gloves, change out your gloves. And then when you come home, can you do everything you need to do, take a shower and, and it'll be fine. I really, we don't have Trader Joe's here. It's weird because we're Daytona. Like we don't have some of the things like, Tucson had like three or four Trader Joe's or, or it's so funny. Someone would say, someone said, let's meet in Panera. And I'm like, which one? Because in, in Tucson, there's like what a Panera in every corner. And they looked at me and they're like, there's only one. And I'm like, oh, okay. Cause I'm not used to that. Right. So there's, you, I mean, you really are. I do miss that in Tucson too. There's plenty of everything, but yet you never felt like you're a city of 800,000 people. Like it, it's weird how it's laid out. It's, I miss Tucson. Yeah. Miss, you're lucky. It is a beautiful place. You know what? You know, and I don't never miss the ocean when I was there. I always, people are like, don't you miss it? No, I never miss the ocean. The, the, the mountains are for everyone. Like you don't, the ocean is great when you're there and you live there and you, you know, but the mountains, everyone can enjoy the mountains. Yeah. Yeah. They are pretty. They are pretty. We, we love the ocean, though. Don't get me wrong. And we, we went to Sabino Canyon. That's one of the things we've done during this strange time um, where you're not going to the movies or bowling or the mall or restaurants. Um, but we went to Sabino Canyon and it was just beautiful because right now the water's flowing. Oh. And so we couldn't even not get our shoes wet because you've been, right? How at every stop there's yeah. that little bridge. And all of those little areas you walk over, there was water flowing. Wow. So all of them, it was, they were all wet. Yeah. And uh, it was nice. It was really pretty. 
Oh my God. Well, my heart's still there with Rudy. So I definitely will have to go back. And he's got a, he's dating a lovely girl named Erica, who's a nurse in the hospital. I think it's Banner. So I, I really, is, I, and then this is so, this makes me feel closer to knowing when I come back, I have friends like you that I could come yeah. see. Uh, so thank yeah. you so much for spending the day with you, spending a half an hour with me to at least give me an idea. And I, I really do enjoy. And you know what? Thank you. I, you know what? Thank you. Because I always feel like it's okay for me to call you. you. You're always open. And sometimes I'm like, I'm like rushing and stuff like that. And then you kind of are like, you're kind of like calming down. You're like, let's do it now. And then I'm like, you know, what? you're right. Like, I don't like, yeah, let's just do it now. Like, you know what I mean? Let's get it done now, Adrian. And I love that. I, you know, yeah. And I haven't met yeah, you. You're so busy. I haven't. No, 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 no. But you know, I don't even like that. My parents would never let me say that too, by the way. I was never allowed. Yeah. To say I don't even like, because busy is relative. Because a woman right. that stays at home with her baby is busy. Oh, a, a person, we, we, who are we to say what busy is? It's so relative. I don't even like to say that. But I just need to be yeah. slowed down and, and, and like, you know, just to be grouped. But I really, we have never met. I mean, people, we, we, this is really the first time that I'm seeing your beautiful face kind of in person, but not really in virtual person. Did, did we meet? I, I thought maybe we met once with Kim um, at the, at the restaurant, the Mexican restaurant. What is it called? Not union, but um, the Mexican version of union at River and Gamble. Didn't you yeah, come to a lunch yeah. one? I did. I came to the lunch and I remember sitting. Oh, yeah, no, Kim took me. You're right. I went to that lunch. That was interesting. I think I was there. I think I was there. Oh, okay. I don't really, I don't really recall, but I like Kim. I like Bluey. She had a girl named Bluey working with her. The woman had really blue, blue eyes. Oh yeah. I've met Bluey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She, she was really a great, she would do hair perfectly. I really, really enjoyed meeting her. She was great. And then actually Kim's daughter, became friends with my son without even knowing it. And my son sells these uh, maces. It's like a, it's like a, like this a steel with like a ball at the end of it. His business is set for set. And one day we're talking and it came out that she was, oh no, I think the mother, Kim said to me, you know, my, my daughter's talking to your son. And I was like, oh my God, I love it. It's a weird Tucson business community is small, but it's big, but like everyone knows each other. So it feels, it feels like, I, I, it's so close, right? But you have so many people. It's weird. It's true. It's true. Yeah. It's like everyone says it's the biggest small town you'll ever, it's you'll ever visit. Yes. Yeah. So you, go, you go to Stacy's uh, networking. Yeah. I try to make some of those. I, I think so far I've maybe even only been to one, but it was the 1960s theme and it was super fun. It was Woodstock, I think. Yeah, I love following Diane Donato. She's so cool. She is. She yeah. was. She was interviewed. And then Stacy's having an event. I think this Thursday. If you go on her website, a Zoom event. So I'm excited for that. Oh no, wait. Yeah, she's tonight. having a Zoom tonight. I'll see you tonight on that. She's she's awesome. I could see everyone like you know connecting together and learning. But I love what you do. I love what you sell. And I think people should. Go, I mean, you know, it's just the best stuff ever. And thank you for your help. I would love that email on the uses. And then I need to just, I, I know I always say that, but it's, it is like learning is kind of hard because there's so many things you want to learn. And then to, but I also don't do really well reading. I do better when someone like shows me or like you're telling me now will stick in my head way longer than my just glancing at something because I don't think I absorb it as much as I will when if you know so if you ever do any any uh, meetings zoom talking about each particular product I would love that we totally do yeah okay. absolutely I'll invite you okay I would love that that would be fun and that's fun to yeah. ask does everyone have a chance to talk to to kind of say what their what their uses are um you know, sometimes we go back and forth a little bit. I do it with my friend, Anne. She's she's trying to do one at 11 and at 6, um, Tuesday through Friday right now. And uh, we even are doing some lunch Zooms on Fridays at lunch. So they've been really, really good. Okay. Yeah, and it, you should try the Learn to Earn videos because I do you unlock um, dollars. Yeah, yeah, and there's a new one called the Leaf and Droplet. It's awesome. You should check it out. Oh, all right, I will. I will because I actually when I get a product, I like to see what it is. Like the um, those access bars are really good. It's weird because they're not really work. They're not for losing weight, but they're for like re like when you work out. So I'm not using them because I'm not working out because I really need to. But they're really tasty. I have to get more of those. And I actually like the drinks too. Yeah. The hot chocolate. 
it's weird. I like it all. I got popcorn to try too. And I never yeah. see customer service. I I have never had customer service. Every time we call together, it's a wow experience how everyone works. It's amazing. There's nothing like that too, I have to say. Yeah. And that's part of it. So terrific. it's crazy. The answer on the first ring and and they're so nice. It's crazy. You're so used to holding when you call places. I know. And you don't do that. Yeah. It is. It's really the best. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of the day. Thank you for oh, introducing you me to Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank right. you. Close us off. Bye-bye. Have a good rest of the day.